Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my live reaction for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Golden Wind, Episode 4. Okay, um, this, it's, it's Monday. I am just now getting to this episode uh, because I was busy all weekend with various classes and assessments that I had to complete. It's just one of those weekends where I just didn't get around to doing anything I wanted to do because I had stuff I had to do. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a live reaction for JoJo's, uh, recording it anyway. The editing and the rendering is going to take time, so it's probably not going up on Monday, actually. Um, I still have to do my review for World Trigger, which is back from its hiatus, and I still have to do Goblin Slayer and Gridman, uh, so I'm going to have a busy couple of days, but for now, let's just, uh, get started and get into JoJo's. So this stand keeps saying that you have two choices, but did the other guy even, like, what, what is this other choice to become the chosen one? What does that even mean? Like, how does one become the chosen one? Muda, 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 muda. What? Koichi shows up and saves him. Oh, it's the, the, the sun? The sunlight? Because of the shadows and all that? Oh, dang, dude, you gotta stay out of the shadows, man. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. It's walking the shadows as if the shadow itself is water. Oh, oh, dang, oh, dang. I'm sure. I'm sure it hurts. You're kicking an arrow to the palm. Yo, he doesn't even have a face right now, bro. Neither, neither does Koichi. What the heck? That, that, I know it's hard to do faces that look realistic when they're zoomed out like that, but that that's bad. That's bad. You should at least try. I mean, come on. But what if you're already a stand user? Then you're screwed? I mean, what? Can he transfer shadows? Can, can that stand transfer st transfer shadows even if the shadows are directly connected with one another because if so there's literally nowhere you can go okay yeah see so you're screwed Oh, okay, so it technically so it technically can't transfer shadows like that. It just so happened that okay, okay. So he's not as screwed as I thought. No, I guess you better undo it. Yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. Not that music. That music means that something's about to happen. They're just about to win. Ha! 
<laughs> Yo, did you, you just have to get it exactly right? So does that mean Popo is dead? I mean, I would have to assume so. That's probably going to screw him over in terms of getting into the gang, except not really because the title of the episode is Joining the Gang. Shadows, <laughs> the Shadow Sabbath. <laughs> they changed Black Sabbath to Shadow. That's funny. See, I'm almost more interested to in seeing what the stand names were changed into than what they actually are. Almost. Wait, what? So he's just gonna pass now. <laughs> the faces disappear again. What? Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Yo, come on. Come on. I've never been more, I've never been less appetized to eat pizza. <laughs> but at the same time, if I find out that you that you cheated in any way, you've insulted me and my reputation, and I'm going to kill you to make sure you get destroyed entirely. <laughs> so what did he get from the refrigerator? Go ahead, feel them up, you know you want to. Go ahead, go ahead. It's probably going to be your last chance. Okay, so what did he get and how did he hide it? That's the question. And I did catch that faceless Giorno again. I, I did catch that, by the way. After he stole your passport and sold all of your belongings. I'm guessing this is starting next week. We're going to start to be introduced to some new side characters like Guido Mista or Misto or whatever his name is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? 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 And the arrow's broken too. Yeah. Oh, is oh dang. Oh dang. Oh dang. All at once. I wasn't expecting to meet all of them at once. I thought we'd go like episode by episode. 
Yo, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so that was that was an episode. Wow. Okay, uh, I was not expecting that twist at the end. I I wasn't sure. I was I thought he took something as opposed to leaving something behind. Uh, but I wasn't sure. I was thinking like, what the, what could he have possibly taken? I don't know. It's just food in there, food and, and alcohol. What could he have taken? Turns out, well, th that got explained. We got. Popo essentially shooting himself thanks to Giorno's stand, transforming one of his guns into a banana that he went to eat and then ended up shooting himself with. Um, I'm just going to assume for now that Popo is in fact dead. Um, this is JoJo's, so people could get shot and still not die. Okay, Joseph Joestar has survived so many things in this franchise. I just, I can't, I can't just assume someone's dead just because they look like they've been killed. Okay, so, um, the possibility of Popo not actually being dead is there. But I won't, I won't completely assume it. But for now, for the purposes of figuring out what's going to happen next, I will... For the purpose of that argument, assume that he's actually dead. And uh, the next episode is called Find Popo's Fortune. So that should be interesting. I'm assuming that his death will do something to the organization and they'll try to investigate what happened. Um, I'm sure people will question Giorno because he is the last person who saw him alive. Um, but the way, the way it was done, it made it look like he literally just committed suicide. And if you check DNA, that'll tell you the same thing. So, I mean, what, what do you, I don't know what year this is um, in storyline. Um, the 90s, I'm assuming. I don't really, I don't remember. Um, but there was some, there was not as much DNA evidence as there is now, but still, it did exist. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I... This is JoJo's. It could go in so many different directions. It it could just it completely ignore Popo for now. Like it could be that his death does impact the 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 organization in terms of selecting someone to fill his position, but it doesn't actually impact the story in terms of oh well, Jorna was the one who did it, so we have to punish him. I mean the the these dudes sent freaking Bucciarazzi after him for killing the Aliki eye guy. So my assumption is that they'll be looking for his killer as well, but again, staged look like a suicide, even though people who know him would probably figure out, like, no, he would never do that. Someone had to be responsible. But again, this is JoJo, so it could just completely ignore that and just move on with the story. And then Popo could be the focus of next week's episode in terms of finding his fortune, whatever that means. I don't think, I don't know if it's as literal as just, like, finding money, but um, I... I a part of me feels like even though it sh his death should be incredibly relevant to the direction the story takes, a part of me feels that because it's JoJo's, it might just be looked over. Like, this is the same series that had Josuke Higashikata punch a guy into a rock, fuse him with it, and then it was just never talked about ever again. Like, there's literally this monument in Morio with some dude's face sticking out of a rock, and literally no one thinks anything of it. They just go about their day like it's normal. So, with a series like that, you can't just assume that a major character in an organization being killed is actually going to impact things. Um, so, there's really no way to figure out how relevant his death is going to be. Um, and again, uh, the goal here is to take down the entire organization. Right, so at some point, this death is going to be connected back to other deaths that happen in terms of uh, stuff that Joyner is involved with. People are going to get suspicious. Like, why is Bucciarati's crew always involved with people who end up dead? So at some point, this, is, this has to be relevant. But I don't know how important this specific death is going to be. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait till uh, the next episode, next few episodes, to see how... Uh, the backlash ends up being handled, but uh, yeah, that's that's it for this episode, you guys. Um, it was a decent episode, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of what is to come next, especially since we're getting introduced to all the side characters.
uh, from the opening. So that that I'm legit looking forward to. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at BlacklistOTA. And I will see you guys next time.